All right. So uh, I'm very glad to welcome you and everyone to this talk. I'm Paolo Valeri, and today I'm going to talk about what we have done in Bolzano, such as uh, traffic, uh, such as monitoring vehicular traffic through the detection of the Bluetooth in car devices. So probably you know better than me. Nowadays, in our cars, Sorry. Uh, we can find one of these devices. They are just there to simplify the interaction or our phone while we are driving. So the, the, the simple things here is that uh, the Bluetooth protocol says that if you want to connect uh, a Bluetooth device, uh, you have to discover it. And to disco when you make so, uh, a request, you have to discover a device, the device, it's up to the device to decide if it's the case to reply or not. So if the, if se if the, the device is set as visible, he will reply. Otherwise, he will, he will uh, drop the request. So uh, given that, uh, the fact is that the, all the devices listed uh, in the previous slide are set as visible, just to be more user friendly. So this means that if we make uh, a, a, an active query, such as we are just dis looking for new devices, we will get a response. So the simple idea of this talk is just uh, discover new Bluetooth devices, then uh, couple each response with the current timestamp, and then finally analyze the data gathered. It's really e an easy idea, but is it worth to monitor vehicular traffic through the detection of those uh, in-car devices? So in Bolzano, we have done several uh, real empirical devices, such as on one roadside, we were counting the car by hand, while on the other side, we were using uh, our Bluetooth prototype. And uh, we got that uh, with this system, we are able to collect at least a quarter of the whole vehicle flow. So given these premises, I'm going to spend the rest of the talk to our answer to this free question. So why is it really needed to monitor in the traffic? And then, uh, so which technologies have I used? And then finally, I will show some results. But of course, I have only 15 minutes, so let's hurry. The first, uh, first question, why is it needed? So in Bolzano, I'm working on the Integrin project, and the Integrin project aims in the improving the traffic flow, not only to reduce the traffic jam, but also to reduce the pollution. But in order to do, to reach this big, to big task, we need to gather data, data about traffic, meteo, a lot of data. For this reason, I start to think about how we can uh, gather data about traffic uh, and uh, but when we talk about uh, uh, traffic data we have two big uh, fields the first one is the simplest simplest one so we just count the car passing through uh, a specific point or the on the other hand we have a really more complex one in which we are trying to estimate the travel time from uh, several points in the city. And when you have all the, those points, we can understand the, the travel time and put all this data in a matrix. And this matrix is called origin destination matrix. So nowadays, all the municipality to to create a origin destination matrix whose camera. But these camera are very expensive, but also they are really difficult to deploy because they must be put above the roadway. And, though, and then they need also the power cable, they need the con connectivity and so on. For this reason, I start to think about something that could be done more uh, easily, dynamic. And so we, Finally, I arrived at what, which technology have I used. So this is our uh, prototype uh, working in Bolzano. And uh, I, I like to call this the white box. Uh, 
why why it, it's about it's a white box because it's not black and the main difference <laughs> okay <laughs> the main difference is that that a white box we can open it and we can see the hardware but not only the hardware we can see also the software all the prototype is powered by FOSS tools so from the white box uh, it's composed by it's composed of uh, okay a raspberry pi a Bluetooth device, then we have a battery and a converter. On the other hand, from the point of view of software, we have the operating system. I just used Raspbian. Then we have a blue log. Blue log is uh, running on the real, on the prototype and is actually inquiring for is it's the tool that is uh, discovering the new devices. And then we have uh, V traffic, which is just a, a web application that show the analysis that we have done. So uh, I will avoid to to list all the feature of this uh, awesome uh, card because uh, probably you already know better than me this device. But here the point is that we have used this card not only because. We, it's uh, okay. It's really cheap and it's very small, but also because it consumes just a bit of ma of uh, energy, and uh, this is and with given that uh, we had uh, at least two days of lifetime, uh, which actually was uh, uh, enough for doing a really empirical test. So uh, while from the point of view of software. We have, uh, or I already told you, we have Blue Log. Blue Log is initially developed by Tom Nardi, and uh, actually is just discovering for new device. And each time he finds a device, he mark the current timestamp on a log file with the MAC address of the blue of the Bluetooth. So, as you can see here, the code. All the code uh, can be summarized with this line, the HCI inquiry, which comes from the Bluetooth library. He's just making the real query to the other device, and then the rest of the code is just uh, logging the MAC address found and, uh, okay, setting up the Bluetooth. While for uh, for Vtraffic, uh, okay, Vtraffic is a web app, in particular is a web to pi application. It's written uh, in uh, in Python, and uh, the I developed this application just to draw the the function to analyze the data, the real data. But without spending too much time with this application, I invite you to visit uh, the this website where the application is running, and uh, of course, you, if you click on compare or origin destination, you will find uh, all the analysis that we have done. So uh, before I finish the talk, what kind of result I've got? So uh, the most important experiment that we have done in the month of December was putting two different prototypes, one three kilometer away from the other one. And the idea, he here was to understand the the average travel time to reach to pass through A and B, and to do that we have just collect all the MAC address of all the Bluetooth devices discovered, and then in A, and then we have from the set of the MAC address we have seen which one was also in the set of B, and. Uh, Given that, we have drawn these two lines. And as you can see, this, okay, sorry, these two lines come from uh, one of, it's from uh, the 7th of December, and the other one from the 14th of December. Both of them are Fridays. But as you can see, along the day, the shapes are almost similar, but then something is changed. Uh, it's changed uh, after, uh, at 6. PM. So here the point is that we uh, in uh, in Italy the 8th of December it's an annual holiday, and a lot of tourists used to come to the city of Bolzano to spend the long weekend there. And so the 
the blue line, it's uh, of course of Friday 7 December, in which so we have got a lot of tourists that came to the city. And so they hold this new flow, traffic flow, we got uh, all, uh, the, the average travel time uh, was increased. Uh, okay. So uh, for the next step, we have just started. So we have uh, a lot of next step. So as I, you probably uh, have understand, understood, sorry, uh, I done just uh, two days deployment, just short times deployment we call because the prototype was powered by a battery. So the, the first next step is about making a very long deployment. Uh, and to make a very long deployment, the first thing is that we need a solar panel. But the solar panel then is not enough because if we have uh, a long deployment, we want also to have uh, real data. So real data coming from the prototypes. So we need the connectivity, so we have somehow to add uh, a Wi-Fi or a 3G device. But, and then from the point of view of software, we, okay, Blue Log needs a better uh, system to, ca to cache the device found, uh, and Vue Traffic, something to improve the graph and the map navigation. And okay, so this brings me to the end of the presentation. Today I'm presented uh, just uh, an alternative approach to monitor vehicle traffic. And the good thing is that all the system is powered by FOSS tools. So it's not uh, it's not already ready for our, for the production, but we hope that uh, uh, if someone is able to help us, we will be able to deploy some to create something that uh, a lot of municipality we will be able to, to use. So thank you very much for your attention and looking forward to meeting you on GitHub.